If you've ever let a child paint your finger or toenails and then wore that paint or polish out in public, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Guys, welcome back. This is the Box Builder Breakdown. I'm the Box Builder coming to you live from Giver HQ. Today, we have a very special Box Builder Breakdown. I'm currently wearing nail polish on my toes and you may or may not believe me that that is not a common occurrence for me. But thank you very much, Gwynny Bear, for painting my toenails. They're a lovely color. Each one of them is its own color. Uh, we have today tailor-made polish, which is a really cool concept. It's a revolutionary make-your-own at-home nail polish concept. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. But before we get started, if there is a brand that you'd like to see us unbox, link them in the comments below. We'll buy it, unbox it, and then send that product to you as a thank you for commenting on our post. All right, this is your first Box Builder Breakdown. Here's what we do. We order these direct-to-consumer brands, we bring them in the office, we unbox them for you. Uh, you have the added benefit of watching me unbox them with my 20 years of industry experience. We go from all the way from on your doorstep all the way through completely unpacked, and I just get to stream of consciousness, discuss what I see. So, let's get started. We've got, uh, it comes in a poly mailer. We talked about this once with Hawthorne, the scent company where they wrapped their boxes in, in poly. For things that are scented and nail polish has that iconic scent, um, I, I would imagine they do this to save from getting like penetration into other people's boxes, but um, that's most likely why they have it or to prevent it from getting rained on. So let's open it up here. Doorstep impression, I like it, uh, five flutes. They didn't go with just a plain mailer, they went with a poly mailer. A very durable poly mailer, actually. Alright, so we're going to rip this bad boy open. Oh, our affiliation. Uh, so these guys reached out to us and they've wanted to work with us for a long time. And now they found the opportunity. So we're uh, redesigning their outer, inner packaging and creating a new custom insert for them. So right now we've got um, shipping, a pack slip, some collateral, nails in the nude coming soon. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Let's see here, we got, oh, a lot of swag. Button, Gwenny's gonna love that. Oh man, Gwenny's gonna love this too. She's gonna put on a little purse. Stickers, this is, oh, magnet, this is going on our fridge. And then some instructions. All right, we've got a, um, we've got an e-commerce mailer here. We're gonna give it first impression, five flutes. I like it, this is great. So let's get into the unboxing here. We've got a custom, what looks like, uh, yeah, it's, uh, oh, okay. It's a custom wrap. Let's see here. It's made out of, it looks like basically magazine paper or what we would call in the industry, coated ground wood. Little insider baseball there. Printed offset, or it could be high in digital, I can't tell. Uh, that's a really nice touch. I don't think I've seen that on a mailer before, actually. We have a uh, sticker here that we'll cut open on a, what I would guess is this is probably a uh, stock mailer from a place called Paper Mart. They have a lot of stock sizes, then they do these flood coats. This is um, one color Flexo flood coat. So what happens when you do that, you've, uh, you got, you've got a, a dye line that's cut out and then there's a sheet of photopolymer on the print plate. We talked a little bit about, about how the print plate is what picks up the ink and drops it onto the box. Well, in this example, it's literally called a flood plate or in some plants we call it a blanket because it's a solid sheet of photopolymer that picks up ink and just lays down a big square. And that's what we've got here. All right, so we're unboxing here. We've got some collateral here. Uh, this is uh, printed in probably sprayed or glued on here. We've got the instruction kit. Let's just open this for fun here. Yeah, a lot of instructions. Oh, this is probably like, yeah, these are like spill mats, clutch. So they don't go on my couch, carpet, dinner table, kitchen table, footstool, patio furniture, or my deck. Very cool, very cool. Set that aside. Okay, cool, we've got the product here. They use crinkle paper. Uh, in our designs, we're gonna get away from that. 
we've gotten feedback from some customers, not these guys, but they have end customers who don't like getting the crinkle paper. I think it's probably a lot like getting a bunch of packing peanuts. Uh, you don't know really what to do with it, so you kind of just like collect it and throw away. We're going to do a custom fit insert for these that's specific to these little vials here. So this is my first time uh, making nail polish, so this is a little bit foreign to me. We've got little poly bags that have the concentrate in them. This is yours, isn't it? Yeah. Brick, black, maroon. Very cool. Oh, they give you like little vials to hold it in. Very cool. Pigment. This is like a, kind of like a chemistry set with some like razzle dazzle in it, you know? And then the, this is a cuticle pusher and I know that because I am sophisticated. Okay. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of product there. The inside of this is not printed, uh, but they overcome that with the placard here. Crinkle paper, as I discussed, no print here. I'm going to break this down. I want to see if they've got any registration marks for this print here. Oh, one thing I'll notice is that this is, um, this is shiny paper. So this is most likely coated stock or what we call in the industry KEMI, K-M-I, or K-E-M-I, that's like a trade name. It's like the Kleenex of coated paper. You can tell because it's a little bit shinier than some of the white matte stuff that we do. Um, but yeah, standard. Unboxing tour, that was, I like that a lot. I'm gonna give that five out of five flutes. I think it's, um, it feels like a lot of value. So if I'm buying this for a uh, wife or daughter, it feels like you get a lot and it's, in terms of like occupying a child's time, this is a lot. I don't know that I'd let a kid do this by themselves, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, pack fill, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm more preferential to this stuff than like a, a pillow mailer, like the air stuff that you get in Amazon uh, or packing peanuts. This stuff has a place. We're going to try our best, and I think we've actually already got the designs done to replace this with a custom insert. Um, so I'm going to give the pack fill three out of five flutes. It could be worse, but you know, custom inserts always going to be better. Damage report, no damage at all. Everything was really sturdy. What they've done here, what's smart is a lot of people will just put, you know, a little bit in there. And then basically what happens is the product smashes this down and the product goes everywhere. What we recommend if you are going to use crinkle paper, and we just had another customer who's, um, shipping glass that's going to do this. You really need to put a lot in here because what you don't want to happen, you don't want the product to settle in the bottom and then either get covered up or in some cases you'll ship glass with this stuff and the glass will end up finding itself. And when you get glass on glass, that's when you get breakage. So just make sure you use a lot and pack it in there so it's somewhat firm. Um, damage report, five out of five flutes. Customization score. This was great. I mean, they have managed to use a stock box and some custom collateral to really get a very good unboxing and customization score. This is a, these are a really nice option for um, a stock box that doesn't look like a U-line stock box. These are, uh, you know, flood coated. They make them in tons of different colors too. That company is Papermart, papermart.com, I think. And you can go get like stock colored mailers from them. I'm going to give this uh, five out of five flutes customization score. I mean, this is a good execution for uh, using relatively stock components. Overall box builder breakdown score. I mean, that's a, that's a five. That's a five out of five flutes, baby. Okay, cool. This was tailor-made polish. Again, if you guys have a brand you want to see us unbox uh, and me critique, go ahead and link it in the comments below. You can tag the company or just write the name. If we can't find it, then we're not going to be able to do it, but um, we'll do our best. Again, this is a box builder breakdown. I'm the box builder coming to you live from Giver HQ. Be nice to each other.